Hi everyone, this is Justin from Cardinal Path, formerly WebShare, and I want to take a few minutes and walk you guys through the new version of Google Analytics. Um, Google has deemed this version an official new version, so this means we're up to version 5. Version 5 was announced today at the Google Analytics Users Conference here in San Francisco by Phil Mui, uh, and this is a pretty pretty robust change. Um, it's a pretty dramatic change to the user interface, and uh, there's actually been a lot of change underneath the hood. So. Uh, this may be the beginning of something big for us. Um, when you get into analytics, one of the first things you'll notice is Google has added a completely new navigation bar across the top. So you can uh, head to home where you can get a list of all of your accounts and profiles. There's a new dashboarding tool, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, my site contains reports and intelligence and uh, custom reporting, which has uh, undergone a few changes um, to add some new functionality there. You can still change your account and profile uh, using the drop-down, and uh, you can now access the uh, administration for all of the accounts and profiles you have access to using this little uh, button here on the top of the bar. So uh, a little easier to navigate, uh, get around, and uh, things have been kind of switched up a little, so things have moved, so it may take you a little time to figure out where things have gone to. But let's start with this new dashboarding tool. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get to create uh, more dashboards, multiple dashboards, uh, which I think a lot of people wanted. Um, dashboards still have the same basic premise where you can put widgets on a screen and drag and drop them around. Um, the big difference is now that the widgets have changed. There's all different types of widgets that you can create and add to your dashboard. Um, so you have widgets that will show you a single metric uh, and a little spark line for that metric. You have trends over time which allow you to specify multiple metrics and see how they change over the time period you're looking at. You can do tabular data that displays up to two metrics and you can create pie charts uh, that will show you uh, a pie chart with up to five segments of the pie. So you can uh, keep adding as many widgets as you want and like I said this is really the, the, the big bonus of the new dashboards is the fact that you can uh, create all of these different vi uh, visualizations. You'll notice that uh, they're still using kind of the same drop downs for the metrics. Uh, you'll notice that they're uh, more consistency in the drop downs across the entire product. Um, so they've uh, definitely cleaned up the user interface a little bit more. Here's the uh, the tabular um, uh, widget where you can choose a dimension, couple of metrics, and actually just choose how many uh, rows you want to display. So, some really cool stuff uh, with the dashboard. I think you're going to like it. It's you know not the most. It's still a little rigid, but it's way more flexible than it used to be. So once we get beyond the dashboards, uh, we have uh, more of your site information. Uh, the reporting section in analytics. Um, uh, is more or less the same. I will warn you that some reports are no longer in GA. Um, Google did an evaluation of uh, what's in there and what's not. Oh, sorry, what's getting used and what isn't getting used, and they've uh, stripped out some of the stuff that's just not very popular. Um, you'll also notice that the UI has definitely been cleaned up quite a bit. So we still have our data over time graph, uh, but the metrics uh, that were normally in our scorecard in the tabular view are now at the top of the, the, uh, the graph. Uh, and if you want to switch to the different types of data, you don't have tabs across the top of the table anymore. Now you have a row um, that's uh, way at the top here. So a little bit of a change. Uh, we're in the incoming sources report now. Uh, it used to be the traffic sources. And this is our organic search traffic uh, for, uh, for a website. So I can actually switch this over and change the metric and see uh, pages per visit, uh, visits, same type of stuff before. The, uh, the graphing mode also has a new feature. Uh, before we could look at a line chart, uh, you can actually look at a motion chart now right within the report um, before they had that big button that took you to an entirely new page. Um, but now Google has integrated the, uh, the motion chart right into, uh, right into the UI. So maybe it'll actually get a little bit more use than it, uh, than it used to. Um, so let's switch this back to our line chart. Uh, and I will also point out that you still have your, uh, the ability to view your data uh, for multiple data points daily, weekly, or hourly. So here we have uh, some keyword data. Um, you'll notice that the table looks almost the same. Again, no tabs across the top. We have different dimensions. Um, and we do have the ability to add a secondary dimension just like we did in, in version 4. So we still have uh, some of the same uh, ways to manipulate the data. One thing that has changed is uh, certain reports have a new visualization. We can now create a term cloud 
for uh, some of our traffic sources reports, some of our content reports. Um, so if you're familiar with term clouds, uh, they basically take um, uh, text data and will show you size based on frequency. So it will scale these different search terms based on which has the most visits. Um, here I just see 10 because that's the number of rows of data I had before, but I could scale this up and look at 50 and uh, I'd get a nice tag cloud that shows me uh, the, the keywords that get a lot of traffic would just appear bigger, so a uh, big boost for the ego seeing this. Um, so that's a really cool feature, really excited to see the uh, the word clouds in there. You can also change the metric, uh, so you could look at bounce rate instead of uh, visits and then all of the big uh, search terms would actually be uh, in, uh, indicate a high bounce rate, so not, not so many problems there. We could change this to pages per visit and again pages per visit, anything that has a really high bounce, uh, sorry, a lot of pages per visit uh, will appear bigger. So, uh, so a nice way to visualize data uh, with the um, with the uh, with the tag cloud. You can still do your advanced segments; um, they're available here, and you can still export your data as well. So that hasn't changed too much. Uh, so, you know, again, cosmetic changes here for the UI. Um, and I, again, warning that some of the reports are gone. Um, they have stripped out a few of the ones that are no longer used, and they've renamed a bunch of the sections. So, you know, now we have demographic reports, we have technology reports. Slight changes, I think, based on uh, the fact that maybe a less technical crowd is using analytics more and more. Okay, moving right along to the custom report section. Uh, this actually has changed quite a bit. We do have some new functionality in custom reports. Uh, I actually do have a post ready to go on custom reports, so we're not going to dig into this too much. I'm just going to show you maybe my favorite new part of custom reports. Um, so you can still give your report a name. Uh, one of the new things you can do is you can add a filter to your report. Uh, this filter will get applied when the report is shown, so no longer have to filter your reports or uh, create an advanced segment. You can create a sticky filter right there. Uh, but my favorite feature is this new type uh, drop-down. In, uh, in the existing version for our um, our custom reports were kind of a drill down report where you could drill through five dimensions of data but this flat table view now lets you view multiple dimensions as columns so if I chose campaigns and city I would get a campaigns column and a city column and then a row for every single combination really great way to work with data uh, especially if you're going to be exporting it so uh, we'll dig into that a little bit more when I get into that actual post but I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the flat table view of data and again, you get to create uh, up to 100 custom reports, uh, and uh, um, you still same drag and drop dimensions and metrics. So that's about it for the new version 5. Um, like I said, cosmetic version, but some, some little tidbits in there that are really cool. Um, there's some things to explore, so get in there, play with it. I should mention it's probably going to take about a month or so to roll it out to everyone's account. Um, but uh, hopefully this video gave you all a little taste. Thanks and have a great day.